This is the Bro Day Pod. Let's go. Uh, do the intro. <clears throat> okay. Do the intro. Intro. Ladies and or gentlemen, my mm. name is Tell Trano Day. My name is Gabriel Zaya, bro. And we're Bro Day. Day. And you are watching and oh, listening to Borsk. the Tell Bro Day Hit hashtag it. no plan B pod. Cast in, we're got. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was trying. Bit of a flow. Bit of a flow. I'm not. A, I'm not a. Not a no. music guy. No. I'm not a yes. music guy. Yes, you are. Not really. Yeah, you have. I enjoy music. You have sung a song. I've sung and sung. <laughs> I, sung a whole song. I've man. sung, written, and sung, sung, written, directed, produced. It's out there. And published. And published. It's out there. It's out there. It's out there. If you can find it, good luck. If you can find it, send it to me. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Yeah, he doesn't have it. No one has it. I don't think I've got any. No one's got it. No one's got it. And whole song, it's out there. Um, anyway, this is episode number. Uh, I'm gonna go with sixteen. Yep, sure. Sixteen of season two. Six, six, season two. Two. Season two. A quick get all the things in. Uh, it's the. What's so, what's it's what season is what it? What season is it? Oh jeez. It's the oh, geez. um. <laughs> It didn't work. Uh, Got the top. I, it's, all the way is it over the top? There, you there go. is that one. Um, what season is it? It's the Sting, it's the sting season. It's where the st- all of our segments, our most of them, are Sting. Have a Sting related. Have a Sting. Have, have a, a sting, sting at the start. Have a Sting start. A, yeah, a Sting start. A Sting start. Very good. Now, Isn't that the thing that killed um, Steve Irwin? Oh, a Sting start. Very, very. I don't want to pay that, but. Yes. You yeah, have to. Through, yeah. You like, have yeah, to. By law. Is, yeah, by law. <laughs> it's the law. By I have law. to pay it. Um, all right. We have sort of neglected this, but we're only in November. October. September. September. <laughs> we're only <laughs> in September. So the neglect isn't all that bad. The neglect isn't all that bad. Back. We've, <laughs> we've been talking about it and we've mentioned it twice. We have? In we have. seven months. Twice in seven months. Twice in seven months. Huge part of our program. Yeah, massive. Colossal. Um, Tell them what We've it is. been playing Winner Stays On. We have. Have That's been playing what? Winner Stays On. And look, before we go any further, For we what? acknowledge. For what? What's Winner Stays On? Wait, what? just wait. All right. We acknowledge Apologies. that we have not been uploading as regularly as possible. That's correct. Life has gotten in the way. It do be that, though. It do be that. Uh, <laughs> life has gotten in the way. It do be we do have that. made... Renewed vows, renewed vows to get back on track, mm, mm. Uh, and at least, at least fortnightly, at I least. think is a good. Yeah, fortnightly is a good. Fortnightly is good. Fortnightly is good. If we can get back to weekly at some point, we would love to do that. But we both yeah. have nine to fives that are taking up egregious a- amounts of time Agre- at the moment. Egregious. Egregioso. Uh, I'm pardon, my, sure he, pardon my German. Um, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he played. He was an AC Milan midfielder. A Greg Yoso, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think he was actually. <laughs> um, we will try and get back to that. Yeah. Uh, but let's sort of Gennaro take a moment. Gennaro Gennaro Gennaro, yeah, Gennaro, Gennaro, yeah, that's yeah. I he can, was the on AC. He was the um, AC Milan coach that was like sometimes maybe good, good sometimes, sometimes maybe. maybe shit. Oh, that's fine. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, so we, we'll cut that. And Wait, we'll off. cut that and we'll just move it all back a bit. Um, anyway, we've been sort of been toying around with Winner Stays On because Cheese was the... What's this for? No, no. Uh, more, okay. context, right. more context. Last season. Season one. Season two. one. Season one. Season one. We pit <laughs> Cheese <laughs> against guess. Bread. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. All Bread Bros. Uh, and Cheese was the definitive, Winner. deserved... Uh, unanimous. Uh, yeah. Zero people voted for bread. It no. wasn't even close. No, you can't make. You it, could say that cheese walked it in. You can't make it subjective. You could say you gotta be clearly objective. Cheese walked it in. No. Uh, no. And by law, when people by are, law we have to say we are part of the hashtag cheese family. Thank you. And so we've been toying with oh. uh, the season two. Season two, rival. and we we did we didn't know what it was going to be, and mm. then we sort of. Tossed it up and it's kind of just stayed food related. So we have gone with Winner Stays On. So Cheese Fam Unite. We are... If you want. We're still here. If you want. We're still here. And... <laughs> the cries of a champion. Yeah, we're, we're still, still here. here. We're still here. 
<laughs> no, it's that's the cries of a falling king. Someone who's like going, and then it's like I'm still here. I'm, I'm still, still here. relevant. But if we if we win again, we're still here. Yeah, you are. Because so, winner stays on. Season two is all about cheese versus chocolate. Mm. The hashtag cheese fam up against the chocolatiers. That's better. I thought you were going to go with Chocoholics for there's, a while. There's was... levels to it. We is are. There... There's different tiers to this. Oh, for God's sake. We're yeah, not the bottom right. tier. We're yeah. not the middle tier. We're not even the top tier. Which, <laughs> by the way... <laughs> we're going to go up here. What do you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? The best you think you're good, bro? Oh, Jeff. Je- you like, you're gonna make this personal? <laughs> what, Timothy? Take a you're breath. gonna make this, you make this personal? Take a breath. I saw right. what you said about my mom. She, oh, bro, what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, alright, listen. How's well, your knees, know, bro? We know. How's about your knees? Alright, alright. Trent. Tim. Trent. Focus. Back on track. Back on track. The best tier is a chocolate tier. Eh. <laughs> oh, uh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's season two. Eh. Uh, um, yeah, Cheese so if versus chocolate. If you. Part of the cheese fam. Get Let's go us. Please. We're going to kill it. This is insufferable. We right? still have... This is insufferable for it me. It is September, as it previously... Stated. Stated. Yeah. It is September. You still have... October, November. You still have three months. You still have three months to you build remember. an army. <laughs> Chancellor Mbemba. <laughs> we signed him in mid-September. <laughs> early is September. That, is that the chant, is it? I think it's early September. I don't yeah, know. Right. I think it's it, it's definitely Chancellor Mbemba, and yeah. I can't remember... There's, see, the the, so for those who don't know it, Chancellor and Bamba, he used to play for Tottenham, is that right? No, no, I don't think so. Oh, well, he used to play for a soccer club, and one of their chants was to the tune of... Do you remember? remember? Yeah, but it was Chancellor and Bamba. And there's random soccer players that I really, really like for stupid stuff like that. Example, uh, another example I can give, I have this... It's not going to work. Oh, yeah. It's not going to work. <laughs> I have this affinity to Anton Ferdinand... Purely because when Roy Keane hated Man United, they were like to him, oh, who do you think is the best... Sorry, they asked him, do you think Rio Ferdinand is the best defender in the world? And Roy Keane was like, best defender in the world? He's not even the best defender in his family. (laughs) (laughs) So for no reason, I really like Anton Ferdinand. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, that's... yeah. Um, But yeah, cheese versus chocolate, season two, get around it. Um, Winner stays on. Um, C. uh, C. No, wait. (laughs) Never miss an opportunity, yeah, folks. Never. Always. It's C V C. Come on then. That's it. C V C. Wait, no, yeah, man, that's beautiful. Beautiful. It doesn't work the other way around. No, it doesn't. It, it works even less for the audio listeners. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm doing like a hand thing. You're doing like buds and Imagine the creating a C. Tag. <laughs> Alright, you ready to do some universe stepping? Let's do some universe stepping, boyo. Alright, boy. You know what's coming up in a few months? Boy. <laughs> <What's> boy. <laughs> What's coming up in a few months? Boy, <laughs> tell me. The World Cup. It is. I can't wait. World so Cup's cool. coming up again, boy. And we are going to... Anyone here a soccer football fan? I know you're out there. And I know you're listening. We There's have at least two listeners. Of you. There's billions of you. We have, Yeah, we have at least listeners from Germany. Heavy plural. Heavy plural. Listeners. Heavy plural from Germany. That heavy are plural. So they are explicitly being asked to join in on this particular Serge Monte, which we have played before. We're going to play again, and it's up to you, Gabriel Zia. That's me. Wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. My bad. Um, it's up to you, boy, yeah. to <laughs> to create, mm. all right, and use your power of persuasion to convince me that you have picked the best. Let's go. Uh, have we got a drum roll thing? No. Uh, oh, yeah, we do. No, we don't. Oh, no, we have a badum. Yeah. Um, <coughs> bless me. Um, <laughs> you have to make the best. Yep. Because we're in almost in October as well. Yeah. We're in September. Yeah, and I come on. I fully thought this out. The best. Yes. Movie. Oh. Villain. Oh, Lord. Starting 11. Oh. For the World Cup. Oh, my goodness. Now, the only... Oh, my goodness me. It's a movie villain... Right. Starting 11. Okay. I would like you to stay away from previous picks. Oh, God. Okay, so I can't pick Gaston. Yeah, so you can't just go straight back into like You've got to stay away from previous picks. Gotcha. And they have to be canonically regarded as a villain. Good word. Canonically regarded as a villain. So, for example, from Harry Potter. Yeah. If I said Snape, 
Yeah, villain. Like, he is a villain. He, he is like I don't know at the end he's he's a the hero, hero at the, yeah. but he's like canonically, white, canonically regarded as a villain right up until right. the end. So like that, I feel like if he's on the air of the bad guy, if oh, he or she God. is on the air of the bad guy, right, then they have to fit inside your starting eleven. If yeah. they if, if that's if they're canonically a bad guy, that's them. Right. All right. So, okay, so we want the starting 11. Yes. Okay, so... Let's go. My uh, knowledge... Of soccer or of villains? Bad, of villains, movie okay. villains, is right. scarce and limited. So I'm not going to build a team of like how you normally build a, uh, a formation. Oh, I'm just okay. I'm going to go, right, I've got this this bad guy. They're going here. Okay. So to start... Do you need me to take notes on where you're putting these people? No, I, I can remember. You remember? Yeah, okay. yeah, I've got, I've got the vision on my head. Sweet. Right. So in the engine room, Right? The midfield, yeah. In the midfield, okay? Smack bang in the middle, I've got Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 1. So okay. The, the Terminator. The, <laughs> the yeah. S- yeah. whatever. Whatever he is. The but, letter number. Yes. But he's like my, uh, almost like Andrea Pirlo, right? Okay. He controls it, but he's a destroyer. Yep, yep, right? yeah. Right? So that's yep. him. In Makes like, sense. Yeah, center defensive mid. And right? has a literal engine. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Will not stop. Will not stop. Will yeah. not stop. Goes boss to boss. Four days. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's him, yep. right? Then, um, okay, outs- out- outside outside of that, right? I'm at wingers, right now. I'm looking at um, I'm looking more at uh, at a striker, okay? Oh, okay. So for a striker, I'm gonna pick Predator from Alien vs Predator. Ooh, okay. Right. Laser vision. <laughs> laser vision. Laser sight. Can and put it in the top corner <laughs> from this stance. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going the other way around. Right. His instincts. Oh, yeah, good. Predatorial. Yeah, right? good. Instincts. Someone takes a Only shot. scores tap-ins. Yeah, that's it. Tap-ins. He's a fox in the box, right? Yeah, yeah. All good. about it, right? Yeah, perfect. Um, that's my striker. Yep. Okay? Now. Hmm. Okay, I've got to... Let's think up some villains, all right? All right, some villains. More villains. Other villains that I can think of mm. from the top of the dome. Yep. Right now. He's padding. <laughs> you got no idea. <laughs> Would you like me to Google um, villains so you can... Uh, no, that's not fair. Use your knowledge. You yeah. Do what the, you got. If he dies, he dies. Set it back. Vladimir Klitschko? From Rock no, Rock. that's not right. He's no. a real man. <laughs> that's a real person. That's yeah. a real ass man. Yeah, yeah. Um, If he dies, he dies. From Rocky? Yeah. Him. What is his name? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, but... Him. He's my he's I'm my centre back. dying right now. Right? It was Strong, Rocky versus... Strong, solid. Yeah. Right? Yep. That's him. Next to him? You know who's next to him? Who's next to him? Apollo. He's your centre back, right? He's my centre back. Next to him? Apollo yeah, Creed. Good, from yeah. the first Rocky from movie. From the first Rocky movie. From the first yep. Rocky movie, right? Perfect. That's them too, right? Cinebacks, solid, strong. My spine, Brad, no one's going through it. No one's going through it. Who okay. is it? What's his name? Ivan Drago. Ivan oh Drago. Oh my God. That's it. All right, yeah, cool. Yeah, I can live yeah. now. Yeah. Right, so you've got the two, the in classic Gabe fashion, yeah. the paired up centre-backs. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they've got to be a team. Yeah, like, yeah, yep, yep. yep. Um, so you're going to look for a spine. No one's getting through it. It's no solid. No now we're looking at through. white men. Mm, maybe. Or a keeper, Are you the keeper yeah, as a keeper. well. That's the thing. A keeper. My keeper. This is gonna be a controversial one. This might be controversial, but I'm thinking it, purely because she doesn't have mo- mobility. She doesn't have she, mobility. Maybe. I oh, you got Ursula. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah, her yeah. tentacles, like she can cover the goal. Oh, right? oh that's good. Tentacles covers the goal. Right? Yeah, so good. That's Ursula in, in goal. I thought you might have. Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell who, you who you, what yours would yeah, have been. Yeah, I'll tell. Well, not my what mine would have been because that would probably take ages. But I'll tell you a couple depending okay, on whether you put them in or not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, winger, yeah, left wing, Hades. Oh yeah, <laughs> right, because he is lighting up the flanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cutting in, Very rocketing good. it, top good. corner. Very good. Um, right, so I've got left wing, I've got one centre mid, I've got one striker, two centre backs. So I've got left and right back to go, and yep. a couple other centre mids, depending on the formation, and a right wing. Right now, for a right wing, um, I'm thinking someone quick, someone rapid. Yep. Right, who's rapid? The leopard from Tarzan. Oh no, I picked you. No, you I got him already, bro. I picked him. I picked oh, him. You already repicked. Um, the Your knowledge is dwindling. Yeah, bro. I've got. I'm, it's tough, man. I don't. I don't. I don't watch many um movies with like classic villains. horror villains. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. Um, DC, Marvel. You got a couple in there that you can. Oh, yeah, I don't mean that. Just you yeah, got a couple yeah. that you yeah, can, yeah. You can right. swing from. All right, all right. Here we go. All right. All right. All right. The wheels are spinning now. Right wing. Yep. Thanos. <laughs> yeah, good. That's a bulky winger, bro. Bulky winger. That's a bulky winger. Bul- What's he doing on the side? Wide target man. Right? Aim for his chest. Aim for his chest. Aim for the noggin. 
can he literally warp on. reality around him. Exactly. Yeah, we can do that too. But he's it's the flick-ons, they come over, and big, big, big man on the wing. Yeah. Up against a short fullback, easy win for the Easy fight. win every time. Yeah, and now I've got Hades on the left. And you got Predator. Hades, in the Hades and Predator. Come on, man. Yeah, you he's, got speed going in behind. Exactly. Anyway. So I've got Hades, he's whipping balls in at the back post, and I've got yep. Predator sneaking around to try and get him in. Yeah, right? okay. Yep. Now so I've that's got, your front three sorted. That's my front three sorted. I'm thinking I'm going to go two centre mids, yep. two more centre mids, mm-hmm. and then my right back. Sure. Right? Yep. Um, right. Who did I have? So Thanos said out. Right. So one in the centre mids is um, oh, from the multiverse movie with... Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. What's the girl? She's the... Wanda Sykes. Uh, no, not Wanda Sykes. <laughs> Wanda Romanoff. What if no Wanda, Wanda Sykes? No, yeah, I think it's Wanda Sykes. <laughs> or was it Whoopi Goldberg? I think that's who it was. What is wrong with me? Yeah, man, Wanda Sykes. Yep. Wanda, what's her name? I don't. Yeah, know. The, the how she's evil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch. Okay. Her bro, bro. Her in oh. center mid. Yeah. Butch- yeah. Oh, no, yeah. She's controlling like, everything. She's controlling Puppet master. everything. Puppet master. Everything. Good. Very good. Right. And then, yep. So a little bit of flair yep. in center mid. A little bit of right. flair. A little, little bit of flair. A little bit of flash in center mid. <laughs> what a sex! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've had Piss a off, bro. You had a man. <laughs> Piss off, bro. Wanda Sykes! What are you doing? You had an absolute man. No one even knows who that is anymore. <laughs> yeah, That's no. so dumb. <laughs> So stupid. I think she was in that movie. She was in the Multiverse movie. <laughs> Are you a close bro? You Classic really horror close. villain Wanda <laughs> Shut up, man. Oh, That's yeah. class. A um, little bit of flair. What was I saying? Oh, I don't know. A little bit of flair. Um, <laughs> oh. Damn, no, it's gone. No... No, all right, at right back, this is my weak spot. Yeah. Not because I can't think of one, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the next door neighbor from Toy Story. That <laughs> kid. <laughs> <laughs> the right back, a petulant child. <laughs> right back. Look, man, every rose has its thorns. Every team has a weakness. It's a yeah, weakness. Yeah, it's... But he's playing behind Thanos, bro. <laughs> He's probably got him covered. <laughs> exactly. It's Sid at right back. Thanos can obliterate planets <laughs> and Sid is melting an arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I got Sid at right back and then um, sent him mid. Oh, no. Give me some clues for like, um, who else I could put? Who could I put? Oh, uh... Who's the <laughs> uh, Nightmare on Elm Street? Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. I put Freddy Krueger in centre mid. Yeah. The other, as the other. Yeah, centimeter. I was gonna say him. I would have put him in keeper though. Nah, because he, he can crush the striker's dreams, bro. <laughs> oh, that's true. How <laughs> hey, you gonna bear down on goal when you can't look yourself in the mirror? <laughs> that's more. No, you put him right anywhere. Because that's more of like across the season. If you want to yeah. really demoralize your opponents, yeah. send in the crew. The send in the crew, crew man. <laughs> <laughs> Flanked by Wanda Sykes. <laughs> and Sid. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my team. Uh, find a left yeah, back. That's you haven't my got team. left back yet. Oh, damn, left back. Just put um, Jason Voorhees in there. Oh, no, 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 no. He no. never gives up. He just no, keeps going. No, Mark Myers? no, someone else. Someone you know, else. Someone gets shanked? No, nah, someone else, <laughs> someone else. Um... Who would I put a left back? Oh. A left back, left back, left back. Villain, 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 villain. I don't know, bro. Movie villain. Um, you want like a... What's a left back do? You want a defender, right? Yeah. You want like a... They're a bit useless. Yeah. <laughs> They're useless. Uh, <laughs> just, just put like another kid from Toy Story. Who <laughs> else was there? Who else was, who else was a villain in Toy Story? Uh, the bear. I'm with the bear. <laughs> You better hope you're scoring, because your wide men are getting right. slapped. I've got, sorry, at left back, I've got um, the bear from Toy Story, right. like the purple one, in front of him, right? The Hades. Lord of the Underworld. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. He's King fine. of the Undead. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, that's fair. All right, good team. Rate it. 
No, a disappointing lack of Wanda Sykes in there, but yeah, the rest uh, of it's I, all good. We tried to weasel her in, but you know, it is what it is. Sure. Tag. Hey, Trent, you want to step into a universe? Does Bill Cosby make a strong drink? Uh, what? <laughs> Don't be that guy incorporated. <laughs> okay. This guy. is Don't Be That Guy. <laughs> and to start, we're going to go with that one. Cracking start. Right. I'm going, this is a mini rant. Have you seen a bunch of those? Yes. Um, uh, this is a duck drag wig with a stiffy. That's it. Oh, and there's another good one. Um, Spare shit in the woods. Yeah. The When he says the... Um, uh, does Stevie want to piss on his shoes? <laughs> yeah. That yeah. one. That's my favorite. That was so good. Yeah, yeah. That one's my favorite. As like Australian answers for yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does Stevie want to piss on his shoes? Obviously. Yeah. Um, right. I was driving here. Right? When I was driving here, mm. okay, this is my don't be that guy, okay? Oh, okay. The, that guy, mm. okay, what that guy does, mm. right? You're, you're, you're driving down, right? Mm. If you're at a shops, say you're at a shops. At a shops. At a shops. At a, yep. At a shopping mall uh, parking place. Place. Yep. Things with cars and places parking and stuff to lot, go. Right? Yep. And you're driving through and there's a zebra crossing, right? In front of you. Okay. Okay. And if you're going and you saw it, you don't make a screeching halt. But you obviously stop for the person that's about you to... You stop. You stop for them that's about to sort of start their cross. Yep. Their crosswalk, right? Yeah, okay. What that guy does, doesn't say thanks. Even... Oh, that does just my, walks across. Just walks across and The as well. entitlement, bro. And addition on that, if they're on their own, they walk across and there's not even a little... You know, you that little quick step across like, yep, thanks. Like, I've yeah. I'm done. You I'm going to... I'm going to... Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, oh, oh yeah. they're they're going out of their way. Yeah, and I'm gonna stop. No, the bro walk at their own pace, bro. Don't be that guy. All right, don't be that guy. Just so you're aware, I could kill you. Yeah, I could I'm, hit you. Yeah, with my vehicle, I hold your life in the palm of my hand. Yeah, you yeah. are nothing to me. You, you are scum. Mm-hmm. I saved you without even having to endanger you. That's true. The least you could do is just a little is give me the thanks mate. I don't, don't even need all five fingers. Up. No, not even three's enough. Thanks mate. Thanks, even mate. one. Thanks, one. Mate. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, thanks mate. And then just move your ass. Yeah. Just do a bit hey just a bit of a one or the other is fine. I don't I don't need both. One or the other is fine. I'll always do that. Thanks mate. And thanks, then mate. just and, do and both. then I'll make both a half ass so two nice. step. Yeah. Half ass two step just to let you know I did go out of my way to recognize and that you have stopped for me. Have stopped for me. And it's the if you're the only car that's there stopped, right? There's no one going the other way. It's if they do the half step to just get halfway across. Yep, that's I'm happy enough. with that. I'm then, happy. Oh, thanks, mate. I can then sneak out. That's two bits Perfect. of acknowledgement. Just Perfect. to let me know one that is enough. you one is enough. Yeah, but either or. Yes, either or. Those are two pieces yes. of like a way that you can acknowledge to me. I exist that as a I human. I exist and that I prevented there from being blood in that situation. Exactly. So you did nothing. And so there's more scenarios to it, right? The well, person sure that, there is. If there's like a, a group of people that are crossing, right? Mm. Normally it's the first one that gets across and the sets last the pace. one. Sets the pace, I guess. And the first one that gets across just goes, oh, you've stopped for us? Sweet. Thanks, mate. And then gets across. The people in the middle, I'm not expecting every single person to go, no, thank you, thank no, you. No, because that's fine. Like, you've, you've the let step, the leader go. The quick step, I want the person at the end. The person at the end, like, come on. Like, give us yeah, a quick step. I need to go. Get across. Like, yeah. we're all waiting for you specifically. If you start last in that group, you should never end last. Yeah, you should. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, if yeah. you start last in a group of people, you should then be quick stepping to make somebody else last. Yeah. To recognize that you needed to get a move on. Exactly. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm 100%. Yeah, I'm, and like the other scenarios, car. when you're waiting in a car yeah. and you're trying to take a left turn and there's no, it's like, say you're at a school drop off yeah. or you're at a light that's that's forever turning like red on this side and there's not enough time for a lot of cars to get through. Okay. So you're waiting at like a T intersection. Yep. Look at me on YouTube and follow what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. And then... All these cars line up here. So you're on your left yeah. and all of these cars are lined up in front of you and then cars will drive forward and even though respectably you've been waiting longer than other people joining the end of the queue, mm-hmm. they don't let you in. Yeah. 
They look at you and they're like, my time is more valuable than yours. Yeah. And they go and no one yeah. lets you in. No. Disgusting, disgusting behavior. Disgusting. Learn your place in the queue. Mm-hmm. If you rock up behind a queue and somebody's already waiting, you at least, if somebody else doesn't do it before you, you immediately have the onus on making sure that that person goes before you. It depends though. It depends on the movement of traffic, on how many cars there are in front of you. Oh, it's a two-car minimum. Oh, then yes. Yes, definitely. It's a... 100%. But also letting people in, it's a two-car minimum. Yeah. So you pause, two cars is one... One in, one in, uh, one one in, in, continue the line, one in behind. Yeah, so one in and they hit, and then the other one is allowed out in like that sort of half 90 degree turn. Yep. That's it. Yep. When they go, you go, and it's up to somebody else to then wait to let the next segment of cars flow through. Yep, yep. This this is another one. This is cue etiquette. This is another one I want you to picture, right? You're going, you're heading straight, okay? Okay. And the light in front, it's a three lane uh, road in front of you, okay? Okay. You're going straight. The, The lane furthest to the right is a right turn, okay? Yep. You're driving down that lane. Someone from the right side, a teen section road, is coming across. They jump across in front of you and sit there and stop and are waiting to go to the furthest lane on the left. Can you picture it? So they're already in the right lane. So if you're you're going straight, okay? You're yep. in the right lane. You'll want to turn right at the intersection coming up. Yeah. Before that, there's an intersection. Yeah. Someone's jumped, tra- uh, jumped traffic, come across in, and they're like, oh, I need to get to the furthest le- left lane. So I'll sit here in front of you and you can't keep going straight. Oh, nah, bruv. I'm sat there. It happened to me and I'm sat there and I'm looking at the lights in front of me. It goes green to go straight, green to go right. And I'm like, okay. okay. And he's just waiting. This, she was sat there, sat there waiting, waiting for like the, the lanes on the left. For her to cut to across. finish. Yeah. For her to go all the way across and then turn left. It went green arrow, orange arrow, red arrow. And then she no joined one moved. and went. And I'm like... Sweet. A yeah. full cycle of life nah. went because you just didn't I'm, were impatient. Yeah, impatient yeah. and also weren't Dumb. pre-planned ahead. Yeah. Uh, you should always pre-plan your routes. That's my head. Like, Does I always head. know what lane I'm going to be in mm. four or five intersections before yeah. I even get to it. Yep. Like, I'm always hanging out on that side. Or just wear it, right? If you come, you, you've joined in yep. and you can't make it all the way across to make that turn, unlucky, keep going straight, do a UE and then make and that And then turn make it, around. yeah, make it, don't. Take the extra two, two or three minutes tops. Yeah, because you didn't Let plan properly. traffic flow. Yeah, 100%, I agree. Yeah. Don't be that guy. You know what else, if right? You, yeah, all right. Well, we're still in. Okay, more to the don't be that guy, mm. right? Mm. <clears throat> yep. Um... I blanked. It's completely gone. All right, fair enough. Hey, Hey, Gabriel. Yo. Do you like stuff? How good stuff? Stuff is great. Some new stuff that's happened recently. Ooh. The queen. (laughs) The queen ain't the queen no more. Queen dead. You know, there's like... Yeah, I know. She took a big turn. Huge. There's two main camps that I've seen. I'm sorry, I've hijacked your segment. No, no. I want to see where this goes. Oh, okay. Well, This is very good. Sure. There's two main camps yep. of, on the Queen's passing, right? Mm-hmm. There's the one of like, no, you need to pay the utmost respect. I'm like, no, she's the Queen. She's been around for 70 years. And mm-hmm. then you've got the other end that are just like, nah, jokes and banter and memes. And who cares? Who cares about the, the respect? Okay. Right? Where do you think you, where do you fall? I'm definitely in, in the case of anyone dying, there's show a modicum of respect. Because someone's dead. Because someone's dead. Like, yeah. it's not like, I don't go, like, and uh, I feel like this is a very good heat magnet subject because Why? you do. But no, because you have like a bunch of people that are like, screw the queen, F that. Yeah. Like her and her, pre- well, not necessarily her, but like her predecessors and the royal family in general have done unspeakable things to unspeakable amounts of people. And it's wrong. And yep. like, we still harbor massive resentment for that. And fair enough. Yep. I can understand that. Yep. I think uh, a, a way that I heard it described to me was also like, let's not forget that we're looking at a lot of these things through the eye of what we know right now. Mm. And we think the things that the royal family had done was atrocious, but also most people back then were atrocious. Like, 
just because we look at it now and yeah. we're like, well, that was just plainly wrong. And we're like, yeah, it was, but also everyone was doing that. Yeah, but... So, like, yeah, yeah, I, it's not, like, I, I their get, fault that I, they behaved according to the times. I like, where we come from. I fully get where we come from. But I'm, like, the, the queen herself is... A, so this is, like, she's a symbol for a lot of people as of tradition. Right? Yes, I, I suppose, yes. Because when you... Like, well, you no, she it, is. She, she is, is a symbol of tradition. She is the symbol of tradition, right? You think of the British, the Empire, the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of Britain is, is the monarch, and that's it, right? What, like... Oh, you, I guess. Th- that's a large... A, a lot of, a yes. lot of like, Britain is, ah, oh, Britannia, it's the monarch. It's the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, them yeah. it's their a, defining symbol, yeah. sim- symbolistic view, I guess. Yeah, is, is yeah. that and, of the... Even though, like, the monarch is purely symbolic now. Makes no governmental... Exactly, right? So, with... So, this was someone that I saw on... uh, I was listening to a podcast about it. Mm. And they were talking about how... Her as a symbol of tradition, she's died at the same time, society-wise, tradition as a concept is almost dying. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what is there... Like, as kids that are growing up... Yeah, what's the... Kings that are growing up now... Kids that are growing up now, they look at the king coming up and they go, well, what are you going to do for me? What are you going to do for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to do nothing for me, right? Because you're the new one in. You need to do something for me. You look... When it, whereas when it's the queen, you go, oh, no, well, she's been around for 70 years as the queen and she guided the nation through all these different prime ministers and reigns When and did she stop having a say in stuff? I think... I don't know. don't know. Like, it, it this is what I mean. Like, just... was she symbolic from the beginning? No. Like, when did she so. stop having a say in things? don't know. Because she's lived through, like, two generations now? Or, yeah. Pr- uh, what's a generation? 30 years? Something like that. I think. Yeah. She's lived through two, maybe three generations now. Like, yeah. how many of those generations that you say are growing up right now having this thought about the king? How many, how many lived like that under the queen? How many were like, well, what are you doing for me now? You haven't got any power. Well, exactly. That's that, what I'm saying. Yeah, that, it felt like that came up more in the past, like, more in our lifetime. I Honestly, the like, the monarch is a symbol of, like, tradition and stuff. Yeah, I can understand, like, why people are, like, quote-unquote, like celebrating us. or don't care. Like, I get it. Like, atrocities are atrocities and it's horrible and all these things have happened. And, like, you know, thank God for white privilege. I, none, none of it's happened to me. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. that's the most brutal that I can be about it is, well, I can't empathize. I can sympathize. Yeah. I can't empathize. Yeah, yeah, None yeah. of it's happened to me. That's, I don't know what, what yeah. they're feeling. So I'm just going to let people feel however they feel and accept that. I'm just having my respect for a dead woman. And that's pretty well it. That's it. Like, that's, I don't care about the, the monarchy necessarily. Yeah, I don't care I about the symbolism of the tradition. the general sentiment of it. I'm just like... Really? Like, I think the... I, I don't know. This could be a big turning point because for 70 years... It is going to be a big turning point because so stuff's going to change. Bro, like, for sure. There's people, like, pretty More well... More so for Britain as a nation, but yeah. Pretty well everyone on the planet, unless you're 80 years old plus, only knows the Queen. Yeah. Only knows the Queen. And now, we'll probably get the Queen, the King, and probably another King after that yeah. in our life. Like, in... Quick succession. Short, yeah. yeah, in dum, quick, dum, dum. Yeah, in quick succession. Prince... Not Charles, the his son, uh, Harry, William or Harry, William, William and Harry, William and Harry. They're the two, right? Yeah, Will's the older one. I think. Will's the, William's the older one, I think. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, Harry's the one that's married to Meghan Markle. Yeah, who defected William, from the from the yes. royal family. Something yes. I don't know. Prince William. Yep. Right. His new rank now. His like value, uh, not value. Um, uh, how much he's worth? His net worth. Yeah. Went up from thirty million to one point three billion. In this new rank that he's gone, like gone up one step because he's because he's now one step closer to being the king, the king, the king. I wonder how long that's gonna like. Honestly, though, like you raise a good point. Like, how much longer is that gonna be a thing? Yeah, because like eventually, are, more, are people just gonna be like, nah? And she was squeaky clean, bro. Yeah, but was she? In comparison to the rest of them. Yeah, in, in comparison, she was squeaky clean. I don't know how much you'd define squeaky clean by some people's accounts because whatever. But yeah, I yeah, I, I understand that a lot of people are upset. This be like a, it's a huge turn. It's a massive. potential huge turn. Yeah, massive. Right? 100%. Because definitely. then so like Charles steps in and then after him, William. And then after him, his kid. Like 
you could you feel like at the point of like when William's kid steps in, you're like, well, at that point, who cares? Like they're just whatever. It feels like it's getting to a point of a bunch of people being like, who cares? Yeah. Like it feels like eventually it's going to get to a point where the whole nation just kind of goes. Yeah, but the who cares can only last so long if taxpayers' money is funding this family. That's when the revolt happens. Or That's like, what I mean. When people get upset, the who cares turns to well. Why are we giving you money if we you're should, not worth anything? We, yeah, yeah, exactly. If, if we if we don't place any value on you, why exactly. are you getting our money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, did you know that there was a long time uh, in the lead up for like the past maybe fifteen years of mm. like, oh, when when Charles steps in as king, he'll probably pick a different name because the two previous Charles that ruled England mm-hmm. were crazy, were absolutely insane. One, I think, uh, like, def- completely... They make him King Charles the Third. Yeah, he's the third. Yeah, so, okay. I think the f- first one, or the second one, like, completely folded Parliament. He was like, I don't need Parliament, don't worry about it. He's like, I- I'm-, <laughs> I'm the king, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I don't need Parliament, don't yeah. worry about it. He's like, Parliament, go away. And then the Parliament was like, all right, well, then up yours. They left, and he goes, oh, crap, someone needs to control the people. People give me money for tax, and they're like, no. He's like, damn, I need the parliament back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so like that's, that's bad. That stigma stuck is like around the for, name Charles. For King Charles. So they thought he was going to pick like William or um, one of his other <laughs> And names, William's Arthur. like, bruh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Arthur or something else. Pick Arthur, a name that isn't mine. Bro, Arthur would be gangster. King Arthur? Yeah. That'd be Why, sick. yeah. That'd be sick. Yeah, but like that's kind of like calling yourself The Rock too. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So I'll put oh, a stone secondary in pun? <laughs> it's layered. The rock too, as in the rock as well, but rock two, rock number sword two. Sword in the rock. And also sword in the stone. Stone. <laughs> yeah, nice. That stone. would... Bring... <laughs> oh, I missed it. That's fine. But that would bring, like, if they called him King Arthur, mm. that would bring, like, I don't know, I reckon, a little bit of, no, not notoriety, it'd bring Huge more, hype. Yeah, hype and, like, Huge hype. a bit of clout. Yeah, clout. Yeah. yeah, that's the rule family. Get him on B ring. <laughs> that's the rule family. They're cloud chasers. They're cloud chasers, bro. Yeah, I mean that was wild. I don't know what you brought it up for, but that's crazy. Good. It's current. It's a current affairs. Oh, you know what else is current? The black currant muffins at Baked Wine Marie. <laughs> yeah, great <laughs> segue. <laughs> what a segue. Carry I on. don't know if they have black currant muffins. They probably do, but if they don't, then that's fine. But listen, we here at the Bro Day hashtag No Plan B podcast are sponsored by Baked Wine Marie. It's right there on our stuff. So. Yeah, we they sponsor us. They're lovely people. They are out at Gologly Lane. If you want a bakery that gives you baked goods at a royal standard, oof, head over to Bake by Marie, Gologly Lane in Oof. Head on out there. Uh, Do it. Go in, let them know Bro Day sent you. You'll get a, oh, that's nice. And if you don't, take a picture of front of shop and that's we'll share it and we'll say, that's nice. nice. Yeah. Probably. Baked by Marie. Sponsored They're the best. Bro Day Ashling, I'm talking about No Plenty Podcast. And we're doing videos for them now. That's right. Soon. We're putting ads out soon. soon. We're, we're a whole media machine. Right. We just on fire. And them. Using the fire to bake Using goods. the fire. To bake some goods. To bake goods. Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Bake, bake goods. Bake goods. That's fine. Hey, Gabriel. Hey, Trent. Play the... Wait, no, preambling. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the preamble. Keep going. Oh, sorry. I thought we were... Is that it? What do we usually say in the preamble? Um, all the wrestling stuff... Oh, no. All the wrestling stuff's coming. Uh, but right now... Is it? Yeah, a little bit. It'll be fine. All the wrestling stuff's coming. If you don't like the wrestling stuff... Oh, uh, you can turn it off. I you don't have it. to be here right now, but if you want to oh, come around and hang out, do that. Because that'd be fun. And that'd be, it'd be really cool to, to have you here. It's free. Just listen. It's free. Just listen to it. Who cares? Anyway. And it is for the Wrestling Roundup. Seamless transition. Yeah, I mean, we'll talk some graps. Yeah, we'll talk some <clears throat> grappling, talk some grappelling, talk some <laughs> grappelling, <laughs> talk some grappelling. You've been watching much of the E lately, brother. Oh, uh, I have heard. 
Yeah. That the promos have been fire. Yeah, man. Since Triple Dipple Hatchel. Triple, triple Datchel? Triple Datchel Hatchel? Yeah. Killing it. The, yeah, the big Hunt Hurst. Helm. Helmetly. Helmetly. Um, yeah. He's doing really well. Yeah. I have sort of like, I know we like we don't talk about like e-feds and like the main feds much just simply because who watches them? I mean, I prefer, I honestly, I'm way more into like Aussie indie at the moment. Mm-hmm. Like A, because I'm around it a lot more and B, because like I care more about what's happening locally. Mm. Uh, I guess more than I care about like main feds, but I, I must admit. Peers. Yeah, because they're our peers. Our but like comrades. I have to admit, since the E got taken over by troops, yep. I was like, you know what? Give it a chance. If people, well, if people are going to sit there and be like, it's a new era, everyone, like, it's you know, look. the old Vince stuff is gone. I'm like, you know what? I'll sit down. I'll watch it. Mm. I'll, I'll take it with a grain of salt and see what I enjoy. I watched, I sat down and watched my first episode of Raw in like years. Damn. Like the other day. And it was really, really good. Yeah. Really enjoyable. Yeah, like cool. I really liked it. Hell um, yeah. The matches were fun. They weren't like, there's still, I still think three hours is too much. Yeah. Regardless of like who you are, I and think three hours for any product is too much. Is too much when it's weekly. Yeah. If it was a month on month promotion, fair enough. Like three hours, go for three it. Three hours, their month on month is their pay per Month on month is, yeah, fine. But weekly, I still think three hours is too much. But like the way it was filled was fun. There was, the promos were good. I have to admit, the acting chops or the delivery chops on some wrestlers is still subpar. Far below where you would expect a professional to be. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> you have the it's it's always the classic. It's the You know what I'm thinking, person A? I think that when I come down to promotion A and I compete in match type one, there's gonna be a real ending to this story arc yeah. because I and I'm like oh, okay don't care yep. you, you obviously don't care you just it's I get no it's wrestling cadence yeah. and I get like but there was no that there's still that air of like it's cookie cutter yeah everyone yeah. does the same promo in the same way and yeah. I get it I'm guilty of it you're guilty of it everyone's guilty of it at one point or another I'm sure they are it yeah. has to be right because yeah, that's yeah. like what we grow up looking at so of course we've replicated it in some way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I would still like a little bit more of a deviation from some of that, and uh, for it to be a little bit more fraught with emotion. The Kevin Owens one was apparently really, really good. Yes. That so like, done. obviously he's really good at promos. Yeah. At promos. Yeah. Like he's really good. But like some of you more stock standard wrestlers are, are still a little bit bang ma- average. Yeah, bang average when it comes to them. But um, that aside. I thought the promos were well placed, well cut. I thought the matches were fun, but short, but had enough variety in it where a lot of it made sense. Nice. Um, I really am enjoying, I know I've only just dove into it. Maybe it's been going well for a while. Maybe it hasn't. Maybe it's just turned a corner. I don't know. But the Dominic Mysterio into the Judgment Day stuff. Yeah. Yep. 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 Really enjoying it. Yeah. Right. Like, and the mummy situation with Rhea Ripley and yeah. Dom where she keeps like whispering in his ear and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah, like cool. that to me is just I don't know. He's it's very you can tell that Dominic has a long way to go. Yeah. To match. Like he's he's a Guerrero, bro. Like or not a Guerrero. He's a <laughs> Mysterio. Mysterio. He's no, Mysterio. No, hey, the um the custody match. Yeah, exactly. He he's is a, a Mysterio, but also like he is being compared to like a lot of those guys. Yep. You know, and he has a lot to live up to. Mm. You know, when you have all of those names associated with you, yeah, he has a lot to live up to. And you can tell he has quite a long way to go, but they seem to be covering him quite well. Yeah, that's good. They seem to be like maximizing the stuff that he does do well yeah. and keeping a lot of the stuff away from him and filling him with people that can carry, can carry, carry him. the other bits. Yeah. 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 So, like, obviously, Finn Balor's got the work rate and stuff covered. Yeah, yeah. You've got Rhea, who's just got the... What is presence. It? Yeah, the presence, that that awe inspire. So, when he stands next to Rhea and they've got, like, a little bit of there chemistry... Is, there is it, intimidation about there, it. Yeah, there, I'm like, oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. And then, like, Damien Priest is just an all-around solid guy. Like, yeah. 
yeah, sure, his promos are a bit average, and like his in ring in ring stuff isn't amazing. Yeah, but like solid all round, and it has the look, like has a good aesthetic about him as well. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I I have to admit, I say all that to say I was. A bit like you're pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I'm because I, I was always like, oh, I get it, Vince is gone, but like that doesn't mean the but, whole company just gets dumped on its head. Yeah, but it's it seems like H is tightening the screws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he a can. little bit where he can. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And everything seems to be a little bit more flowy. Yeah, you know, when they brought back all the talent that they that they cut rid of or yeah, cut yeah. ties with. Yeah, Str- yeah. Strowman's Strowman back. back. Yeah, Gargano's that. back. Yeah, yeah, um, I saw that as well. So yeah, I I have to admit I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised, surprised by nice. H's involvement with the E. That's really cool. AEW on the other hand, yep. Uh, I have to. I said this to Seth Tyler's the other day because I was talking to him about like how I feel about um like wrestling in general and like the different feds that I enjoy watching. AEW was fun for three months mm. and then. It just lost me. Yeah, right. Like that, I have to admit, it lost me pretty well, like almost immediately in terms of like the span of my life. Like it did not grip me for that long. Yeah. And I think because so much of it is, is yeah, it's that indie style and that's kind of what you expect, but it's, I, it's what I expected. It's not what I wanted. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was what I wanted. I really did. Mm. It was not. Yeah. It's not what I wanted at all. There were some interesting stories attempting to be being attempting I mean, to be told. To be told. But nah bro. I'm sorry. Like it just there was too much faffing about in matches and like wrestlers trying to kill themselves for no reason on yeah. a on a weekly episode of Dynamite where very few stakes were established or few stakes that I cared about. Yep. And I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're going to end up Wrestle with a broken weekly. neck. Yeah, you're wrestling once a month every week, essentially. Yeah. I'm like, like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, stop dumping yourself on your head yeah. for the sake of 5,000 people in attendance who don't really care if you live or die doing this thing. Because like, like, what are you going to do next week? That's the problem. That's always the problem. That's, that's why I'm losing interest that's is because, like... There's only so many times that you can kick out of a Canadian destroyer into a jumping Canadian destroyer, into and four super kicks, into a brain buster on the apron before I go, then what's going to kill this guy? Yeah. Like, if, if he's kicking out of that... What's left? What's left? Like, what? why is all of that not keeping him down, but all of a sudden a random... Spike pile driver. That oh, that's the thing that does yeah. him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like all of that. It just kind of that lost me very quickly. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but like, there's there seems to be a fair bit of like backstage drama, like drama, politics and stuff. Yeah, yeah flying off. Yeah. And I don't know I don't how know, much I, of it's a work. I, I don't know how much of it's yeah. real. Like, I don't know how they haven't given MJF the the, the big belt yet. Is that what they're aiming to do, though? No, is that's what they should. That's what, that's what they should have done. Yeah, I, it feels like that because you. It would have been perfect for him to win it off, um, Hangman. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah I mean, I've, I haven't been keeping, keeping an eye it. on like the the American the big feds, feds. Yeah, yeah, as much as I like used to, but it feels like the when you're talking about the whole um, breaking your neck like every week, and they keep have to try and raise the stakes and raise the stakes. So they've essentially like they're they're. They're blowing their load too early, right? Effectively, like, yeah. match wise, yeah. And it, there's elements of that storyline wise a little bit as well, like with um, Orange Cassidy. His whole thing is like he's the like he walks around and like he's nonchalant. He's always operating at one percent, at one percent. But yeah. every single match, he comes up and he comes alive and comes alive, comes alive. And it's like, well, we've already seen it. We've yeah. already seen him come alive, wrestle at the one hundred percent, like when he did it with um, Park. Yeah, way back. Yeah, you're like, oh, he can actually go. So then, do something with him. So now, now just go. Yeah. So now, just this is what you can do. Even so. you as a character, like if you're going up to this wrestling match and you're like, well, this is how I prefer to wrestle, and it didn't work, but then I, I turn it up and it does work. Why would you not just do that from the start? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or or, but, or make a fundamental change to make it mean something. You yeah. know, like I. They turned um uh the dinosaur guy. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Luchasaurus. Yeah, Luchasaurus. Yeah, they turned him heel. Yeah, again, that with his On... whole thing with Jungle Boy. Yeah, yeah, with Jungle Boy. Yeah, but he's Boy back now, Christian isn't he? Cage. Is he? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's back to being a face now. Really? I think so. I can't, I because... I thought he was not. I'll be honest, heel. man. I didn't pay he's attention heel, to it. He's, wearing, he's got like a black mask. Yeah, and that black was. Jeans and but Christian Cage was like he was manipulating he's my, him. He's my right right hand. Yeah, but he was manipulating him. Uh. He was like, "Don't forget what got Marco Stunt fired." And I just hate Marco Stunt. Yeah. Anyway, but like, yeah, he was like, "Don't forget what got Marco fired," and then Lucha was like, "Okay," and then like whatever. But then I, line, I remember. Fell in line. Yeah, and then I remember Jungle Boy coming out and Luchasaurus confronted him and then Luchasaurus just like stepped out of the way and then he went and like wailed on him. Oh. I think. I I'm know. almost certain, unless I dreamt that, in which case like, book me. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I'm pretty sure I didn't dream that. Yeah. But yeah, either way, they were just like two little things that I Promising just Promising stuff to... from the E. Promising History. stuff from the E. Kind of a little disappointing from AE Dub yeah. and I'd be interested to see how it goes following like all of the drama that had been happening with like punk backstage and now yeah. they now like are hosting their own version of ROH. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, yeah. Jericho just won the Did he? ROH so he, belt. He took it off. Um, Claudio Castagnoli. Yeah. Yeah. So nice. He's now the ROH champion and now it's only him and CM Punk are the only people that have like held all the stuff they've held. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a big graphic about that. So God knows if that's going to be something that happens later on down the line, but it's, it's like Jericho punk. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, that was just a little brief update on my feelings on how the E and AEW are going. And unless you have any further... Nope. We're going to wrap her up. Wrap Ladies her and up. gentlemen, that was the Brody Hashtag No Plan B podcast. My name is Gabriel Zaya, bro. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I am at the real Gabe Bro. And my name is Trent O'Day. And you can follow me... At O'Day QWA on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and I went out and did it. I gotta be real. Nice. You said that we were gonna do it. No. And you didn't. Uh, but I did. You did. O'Day QWA. Be real. Be real. You can watch me in many universes. Yeah. Mainly sleeping. Yeah, that's true. That's a lot of what it's I do. A lot, is, a lot of what I do yeah. is sleeping. But hey, you're real and you're being it. I'm being be and real. I'm just being real. Being real. So Come join. And Come if you want to follow Saturday. the tag team, we Taj, are at Brody Taj Taj Tag Tiami. Team on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, give us a like, comment, subscribe if you're watching on the YouTubes. It mm. helps us get through the dangerous algorithmic streets. And we are going to, to be share. producing more content. You're goddamn right. We are back, I think. I think we're back. So, sure. It feels back. Yeah, it feels backy. 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 Feels like we're back. It's backy. It's a... Um, uh, it's a really poor uh, bicep curl, right? Yeah, when you're swinging a lot. It feels backy, it like feels your back's backy, gone. Yeah, it it's feels still backy. There. Yeah. Anyway, we love you. Bye. Bye. Take out. Noise. Very good. It was strong. It was masculine, but also feminine.